it is quarterfinals time. As per the schedule this is the first game in quarters round. South Africa will take England in the first quarter final match. This game scheduled to play in Dhaka on October 25th Srinivas Venkatrugvan and Steve Dunn appointed as field umpires and Steve Buckner as the TV umpire. Ranjan Madugal was appointed as the match referee. England put up aggressive Nick Knight as the opener along with Alistair Brown. After that they put solid batting lineup including, Graham Hick, Neil Fairbrother, Graham Lloyd. Mark Eelham will act as an all-rounder along with their skipper Adam Holyoak. Ian Austin and Peter Martin to share the new ball. Ashley Giles to spin and Jack Russell to keep wickets. South Africa's main strength lies with their all-rounders. They had five of them, including skipper Hansi Cronje, Mike Rindle, Jacques Callis, Derek Crooks, and Pat Simcox. Batting specialists like, Daryl Cullinan, John T. E. Rhodes and Dale Benkenstein. Wicket keeper, Mark Boucher. And Nicky Boge and Alan Dowson to ball. is confident, Nick Knight is not sure, he's asking the umpire, and the webbing, and I think Nick Knight's on his way, so what an over from Jacques Cullen. That's very close, and that's out too, so that we go right back in this game, that is a dreadful shot. Oh, he's got that one away beautifully, he's a very effective player ball him a loose ball especially around about that leg stump he does get uh, his shots away in that area very well good shot that's in the air and one bounce for four very well played well that is pitched on well played he plays that shot so well that is magnificent batting right off the middle of we'll get runs for that possibly four he does. Pat Simcox. Just over his head. 
and the boundary. That's a big one. Very good at picking up the single spear, brother, pushing the ball into the gaps, but he also is a very strong hit of the ball. That went a long way. And now he's had another one. Inside out and a good shot. That's a very good shot. job two overs for five runs and a wicket before this it's chipped away on the onside and he couldn't have placed it better two men in the deep on the onside and he split them nicely he opts for extra cover and he's found it that's a lovely shot again he's timed those shots England elected to bat first. Kranje uses Simcox as the opening bowler with Dawson, and he made the justification to that Desi Zion by removing Brown in the fourth over of the game. Promoted Eelham joined Knight and raised the total to 80 by adding 66 for the second wicket. Mark Eelham scored 44 off 37 with 7 fours in a 6. Hick, Knight, and Lloyd departs in regular intervals, pushing England's score as 5 for 95. English skipper Adam Hollyock joins Neil Fairbrother and built much needed 112 runs for the sixth wicket. Fairbrother faces 78 balls in 93 minutes and hit a six and two boundaries for his 56. That was his 12th 50 and that was his third against South Africa. Russell goes next and he scored 19 off 17 with two fours and helped to put 49 to the seventh wicket. Skipper Hollyoak scored a captain's knock by scoring 83 not out in 91 balls with 10 boundaries and a one big six. It was his third 50 and highest score by passing his previous best of 66 not out against Australia at Leeds in 1997. 
So, England recovered by scoring 281 for 7 in their 50 overs. In bowling, Nicky Boge balled economically and Callis took 3 for 48. Well, is this going to be the first maiden? Didn't have one during the South African innings. No, we're not. And it's going to be four and a very, very lucky one at that. Mike Grindle sneaks one to fine leg. And uh, Cullinan just dispatched the first ball over mid wicket for four. That's a beautiful shot. Now that is a trademark shot. And that's what happens. And the bowler has got to be uh, very careful. Just straight down the leg side. He's got that through. I think he's got enough on it to get it before. Not directly off the middle, a bit off the bottom. Again width and again the penalty. And it's a severe one. It's another four. Absolutely on fire. There he goes again. And it's four again. It's organized. And there he goes again. Oh, this is a superb display of driving. In fact, shots all around the wicket. Magnificent shot again. The offside that didn't work. Now they're concentrating on the leg side, and that doesn't look like it's working either. So eight overs gone, and that's edged away. It could be four as well, and it is. That's not a convincing shot, but it's four runs. And that's beautifully through the onside now. That is a good shot. It's slowing up, it's got a long way to go. It shouldn't, well, it's just been the field. Long chase. In the air, just wide of uh, the short mid wicket. He didn't seem to move to me. And that's going to go all the way to the boundary as well. England are half asleep out there. That's, it. that's officially played as well. And uh, that's going to the fence too. That is a good shot. Pitched on a roundabout leg stump. And it's a free hit in that area. Off the edge, four. Short delivery again and whacked away to the boundary. That's wide and that's four. Well played. Beautifully played in fact. An outstanding innings from Darrell Cullinan. He's played a... That's well played. Straight down the ground again and uh, that one's running away over the soft ball. <laughs> well into the fence it goes. It's in the air. What they needed, England, a wicket. They got the required run rate to above six runs for over now. That's in the air. This could be out. Oh, he's misread it, and he's caught it. Well done. Well, that's uh, Fairbrother coming in there, and uh, just for a second, I thought he'd missed. Oh, good shot. Beautifully played. Short outside off stump, and that was a lovely back foot drive. a mix up wrong end wrong end oh they've done it again they want to replay so it may just be that he was quick enough i doubt it I think and uh, england have got another wicket here callus the man dismissed an awful mix up in the middle between crony and callus and i think he left well, there we go yep on she goes and that's the end of callus and i can tell you that it looked to me as if that one and the boundary that's a very good shot just slightly short not very short indeed but this man that's a good shot mid off is up that's on the boundary oh that's a big hit Beautifully struck. That's crashed into the advertising holdings on the pole. That's another biggie. 
This is sailing over mid wicket for six. A capacity crowd. Well, another powerful strike by Hansi Cronier. And this time he's hit it straight up in the air. And he's gone. Brown making no mistake. So Cronier, who had made his intentions pretty clear, he wanted to. That should be another boundary. It's a quick outfield. This could well be another boundary. A chase there in the deep, but the ball wins again. the edge and that's flying away to the boundary all the way to the fence for four well it was a little streaky but uh, the end oh yes well played into the gap and they played beautifully in these uh, evening conditions in backup and despite the fact that they were chasing a large score got it two openers Colinan and Rindall made a good start Rindle goes as the first wicket but in 19.2 overs two openers put 113 partnership to lay the foundation to a high scoring chase. Daryl Cullinan scored 69 off 70 with 13 fours. That was his 20th 50 and third against England. Callis ran out for 14 and South African scoreboard shows 3 for 135. Then South African skipper Hansi Kranje and John T. E. Rhodes built 117 stand for the fourth wicket. Cronier scored his 29th one-day 50 and in 56 balls he scored 67 with 5 fours and 2 sixers. This 50 was his third against England. With 5 boundaries Rhodes scored 61 in 63 balls. He marked his 16th 50 and first against England in the 16th encounter with the oppositions. That leaves easy 6 wickets win to South Africa and they archived the target in 46.4 overs. Giles, Hick, and Hollyoak took a wicket each. Daryl Cullinan was adjudicated as the man of the match for his 69 runs innings. That win for South Africa gave them the opportunity to advance to the semi-final round. Sadly England team had to step down from the competition. That conclude first quarter finals. Let's find out what will happen in the second quarter final match in our next episode.